Crook Peak, the first real climb of the Mendip Way. Welcome back guys and welcome to Somerset. So yeah, welcome to Somerset guys, and welcome to Breen Down. Now Breen Down is a little peninsula, it juts out of uh, the mainland into the Bristol Channel. And over here we've got Steep Home, over there we've got Flat Home, Cardiff, Newport, down here Western Supermer. And looking south guys, we've got the Quantock Hills, Exmoor and down into the West Country. But in that direction guys we've got a ridge of limestone, the Mendips. It takes me all the way through to Wells. En route we've got Cheddar Gorge, we've got Ebor Gorge, Black Down, Beacon Batch, Bleeden Down <laughs> and Crook. Then we're just a few of the names, guys. Celtic in origin. Right, so I'm going to watch the sun go down now, guys. When it comes back up, I'm going to hit the road. In that direction. So uphill is the official start to the Mendip Way. But for me personally, Breen Down is the more natural start. Because it's a Mendip. And it's only because of the uh, estuary down there. The logistics that it starts on that side. But there you go, Breen Down, what a beautiful place to camp. here at this little Norman church, St Nicholas, at Uphill and we finish guys at Wells Cathedral, England's smallest city. So down here guys we've got Bleeden, I'm going to stop down there for a brew and if the pub's open yeah I might have an early pint. Very 
Dirty English. Croquet on the green. Okay, bleeding down, and right in the very distance, green down where we set off from. So over here guys, we've got wavering down, and I can see the world famous Cheddar Gorge. Right out to North Hill over there, down into Wells, but this is somewhere else. Do you know these hills are only a couple of hundred metres high, but they've got a real mountain feeling to them. Especially this one, Crook. And they're full of butterflies. What an area. Awesome. Bustly awesome. <laughs> Do you know I knew this was going to be a good walk? Peak. What a cracker. That's the one I've been looking forward to guys. You know everything else. Wavering down, Beacon Batch, North Hill. They're just big grassy lumps. But Crook Peak. 
could be in Yorkshire Dales, it could be in the Peak District, the Gower Peninsula, all these areas of limestone. It's fabulous. Love it! And the word crook is an old English word for pointed ill. That's what crook means. And while we're on the subject of words, bleeding down that we've just come through, the other side of motorway, the word bleeding means wolf hill. Ble, ble, means wolf. Don means hill. It's an old Celtic word, guys. Don't you love all that? This area is stacked with history. And trails like this, just walking in them historic footsteps. Superb. Good to be out, guys. Proper good to be out. So, we've got some drovers roads up there, take us all the way through to Shipham, and then it's on to Black Down. I'm not going to make that. But down in this valley here, we've got a little campsite. I need to charge all my gear up, guys. I've gone a bit mad, really. So this is King's Wood. So we're in down guys, we're here now, I'm going to walk up the strawberry line, up to shoot shelf. So this is Netherdale campsite. It's a bit noisy at road. But there you go, got everything charged up. I'm just gonna backtrack now guys, make my way back up to shoot shelf and then back on with the mend it way. Oh beautiful day. So that's shoot shelf how it was back in the day. Like I said last night, this is the last busy road we have to cross. Thankfully. <laughs> so this is this is the start of Winscombe Drove, and it takes us all the way through to Shipham. So I'll stop for a bit of breakfast there. So all this land here was known as the Hanging Fields. It says there, the bluff seen on both images above is known as the hanging field. It was used for a gallows on which men were hung, drawn and quartered, 
having been found guilty of Judge Jeffrey's bloodiest ears held in Axbridge after the Battle of Sedgemoor in 1685. So they used to hang them over the road, guys. Drone quarter them as well. But for me, visiting sites like that, such a negative area, I don't want to focus on the violent act. For me, it's about focusing on the innocent souls that were barbarically treated there. Because you can bet your life most of them were innocent. It was at the time of the witch finder general. You know, all them beautiful ladies. You know, burnt to death. Just for knowing the wild edibles. And knowing all the natural medicines. For that they were classed as witches and put to death. No freedom back then guys. So I really wanted to visit Shoot Shelf. You know, and just remember that we think we've got it bad today. Man, that's only 400 years ago. Shocking times. Absolutely shocking. Today, guys, we have the freedom to roll. We can go anywhere we want. Within reason. So, let's crack on. Robera Warren and Chad are five and a half miles away. Okay guys, so this is Blackdown. Finally out of Robera Warren. That's just a big pine plantation. Not a lover of them sort of woods. But this is more like it. And this little valley will take us down into Burrington Coo. Might get a bit of lunch down there. And there's a bunch of caves that I'd really like to see. Boy, is it overgrown. So there's lots of little caves like this, guys, all over this side of Blackdown. All up this walk here, I've just passed loads. Now the story I, I read was that, I mean we're only, what, 10-15 miles from Bristol. So the story that I read is during the Second World War, in, early in the Second World War, during the Blitz, they made a street map with, with lines all over Blackdown and Roborough Warren, and then Black Bristol out, and the Germans dropped all their ordnance on the moors. <laughs> But the ordnance dropping through this, this woodland revealed a lot of these caves. So they're not what you'd call caves that Stone Age man inhabited. It's limestone, guys. There's it's a rabbit warren under there. So I'm going to drop down now into Burrington Coombe. I can hear the road, not so far. And have a look at Aveline's Cave. And what I've read about Aveline's Cave, guys, is it was occupied by Stone Age man. So if you want to have a look at Aveline's Cave, it's right there, right at Side at Road. Come on guys, let's go and have a look. This goes on forever. So they've caged it off up there, guys, it's about as far as we can get in. But I suppose that's far enough. <laughs> These limestone hills are full of caves like this. So 
So that's Aveline's Cave. But this is where it is on this bend. So I'm going to make my way over now to Beacon Batch here, guys, which is the highest point on the Mendips at 325 metres. Drop back down here and make my way back onto the old Mendip Way. The sun on my skin is beautiful. The trees all green and gold now. The river runs cold. It's beautiful. I'm home. I'm home. Area of outstanding natural beauty. Back on track, guys. This is the Mendip Way here. Down here. And I've just followed this trail here back onto the road, so I'm back here now, back on track. And we've got Cheddar Gorge here, so not far to go now. About an hour, get some chips or something, <laughs> and see the splendour of the limestone gorge at Cheddar. Extended sky. Suspended time It's magical The moon holds back The tides now Fireflies glow So wonderful I'm home I'm home Let So I've had a nice dinner and a pint. Feel pretty rested. So I'm gonna go back up guys. I'm gonna look for a pitch with a classic Cheddar Gorge view. What'd you ring to that? Four oh, flipping goose flesh, man. Morning, guys. What a place to camp, I can't tell you. I came down that side yesterday, I had really strong winds, even had rain. <laughs> and I came up here last night and it was beautiful. It seemed a bonkers idea at first. It has been gentle. A lovely gentle breeze all night, just a gentle flap of the tent. Owls hooting. 
I had the odd car going up and down till about midnight. But I haven't heard one car go up this morning. This is my garden last night. My midnight garden. Wow. I'm going to get back in my sleeping bag for an hour. Can't resist. And then I'm going to carry on up this edge here and come back down the road. And that'll give me three different perspectives of this fabulous gorge. And I've got to say it, it's a gorgeous gorge. <laughs> It's not the safest walk I've ever done. No pavements or anything. People don't slow down either. Who decided to put a road up through here? Let's get a better view. There you go guys, Cheddar Gorge. Three different perspectives. Circular and back down the road. So I'm just sat here before I leave it and enter the hustle and bustle of Cheddar again. I gotta say it's not pleasant down there. Really? Right, so the Mendip Way from Cheddar is not easy to locate because it's not on the OS map because the OS map hasn't been updated but I've just spotted a sticker down here there's one over here so from Cheddar let's get back onto the uh, Mendip Way
populace. So out onto the Mendip Plateau, arable pasture land. Next stop guys, Pretty. Way down there. And I'm going to do a little detour here. You know, because I want to nip into Pretty and have a look at the churchyard. Now, my sister in law's family come from Pretty. And they come up here once a year. My sister-in-law, my brother. So I think it's a grandma that's, uh, that's buried in this graveyard. And I said I would detour and have a look at it while we were here. Because like I said, they come up here every year. Now they call this a Neolithic cemetery. How cool is that?
what an utterly stunning detour this is. Fabulous. Massive dragonflies buzzing about the butterflies. Back on track. The West Mendit Way and the last six miles, or probably five now. Wookie all and down into Wells. And it's been a beautiful trail. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Go on young'un. That's it. Ebor Gorge National Nature Reserve. This is just, this is just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Reconnecting to nature. And it's been very successful. First view of Wells Cathedral. So here we are guys, the Bishop's Palace in Rome. And it's the official start of the East Mendip Way. Beautiful trail, enjoyed every minute, even the rain. <laughs> I'll be back to do the East Mendit Way one day. But for the purposes of this video, we're now done. So thank you very much for watching guys. And I shall see you on the next one.